Hello everybody, so today we're going to talk about what we need to make it possible for our front end like a web app or mobile application to communicate with our model that we created uh, send and receive data and, and do other stuff basically we need something called serializers and views you already know what views are because we, we created a view and we managed to do some functionality with it but to do more and be, be more advanced and be able to communicate with our models um, and store data send and receive uh, we need to work with something called serializer okay what is a serializer basically a serializer is a kind of converter okay that convert the complex type of data like in, like models you know uh, query sets into a, a normal or native python data uh, that can be rendered as json or xml which as developer we understand our front end can understand so if our front end needs to to work with uh, like json okay we need to work with json data because we can uh, understand the the uh, the data in it okay we don't need that complex uh, type of data so serializer will do all the the hard work behind the scene to you know to make our front end understand the back end to make it easy for for our data okay to uh, to go back and forth you know through uh, our api okay to be stored to be converted okay and much more uh, how to implement that well it's, it's pretty easy because we need to work with something called model serializer okay because we already created a model okay which presented our data okay so the easiest way is to choose a model serializer why we need to choose model serializer because a model serializer will basically um, deal with our model that we already created it will serialize all the data um, that uh, well according to the fields that we we already added in our model so there's no much work to do okay so it's easy to achieve because all we need to do in, in, in our serializer or model serializer is to tell it which model that we need to serialize data from and the fields that we need our serializer to handle. Okay? And the serializer will do all that. The, we, we will like go look to the model, check the fields. Any operation that we, uh, we need to do uh, to the database through that model like sending data receiving data okay um, all the get put post will go through the serializer and the serializer already the, the, knows the model and the fields that inside that needs to deal with so that will be easy to achieve and we'll get our work done so how to implement that so let's go here to our API where we added URLs and views we need to add another file here a python file and call it serializer inside this serializer we can add our serializer code so how we do that first let's import the serializer from rest framework okay so from rest framework import serializers okay then we need to import the model that we need to serialize data from so uh, this is the model file here so we need to import car specs okay so let's do that from first app dot models well, I, I did this because it's not in the same uh, directory, so I had to go outside of this folder and then get back into to get the models file. 
import car specs. So now let's build our serializer. It's a class that we need to choose a name for. Let's name it car specs serializer. Okay. And what we need to inherit is a model serializer, as we said. So it's from serializers dot model serializer. Okay. What data we need to, to add here, or metadata that we need to add here? We need to add the model. Okay, that we need our serializer to deal with. And so first let's add the model equal car specs and we need to tell the serializer which field uh, it needs to handle from this model so we write fields equal it's a list of string that needs to include all the fields or basically the fields that we need to deal with okay if we go to the model what fields do we have car brand car model production year car body engine type okay so let's write them car brand car model um, production year and what else body type expectation and engine type I think that's it. Let's check, double check again. Engine type, car type, not body type, car body. Okay. So that's it, guys. We we wrote our class, serializer class. We told the serializer class that you need to deal with this model, the car specs, and we gave it the fields that needs to be serialized. Okay. The next tutorial we're gonna add a view, a class based view, which is view sets, and we're gonna implement the serializer uh, in our views and see how it works. So thanks guys for your time and until the next tutorial.